In this week's video, I'm going to be talking about technology 2019. I'm Marlon King, and I make videos about consumer technology and camera gear. Consider subscribing. So we've just recently had CES 2019, and there's a lot of new technology being talked about. Let's start with cameras. Sony have just released the A6400. Now this sits in between their last models, which were the 6300 and 6500. However, essentially speaking, it has the same spec, but has a flip screen. Now, interestingly, this camera also comes with 4K HDR. Otherwise, it's all the same. 30 frames per second at 4K and 120 frames at HD. Now, this isn't meant to replace the 6500. It's actually meant or aimed at people that previously had the A5000 range, which didn't do 4K. So now you've got all of the 4K options from the 6500, but with that flip screen, which is perfect for vlogging. Fingers crossed Sony, fingers crossed Sony are going to be releasing a new pro model um, to replace the 6500, probably going to be the 7000 range. So the main topic at point here is Sharp will be releasing an 8K camera. And this is gonna be pretty spectacular. It's based on the Micro Four Thirds system, and they're also gonna be having their own lens interchangeable system. Um, and this camera will be coming with a five inch screen. Now, that is all the information we have so far. It is gonna be expensive for a consumer camera. I reckon it's gonna be around 5,000 pounds, dollars. But um, you know what, this is gonna be one of the first, if not the first 8K consumer camera out there. So we would expect it to be pricey. Nikon have a new lens out for their Z6, Z7 cameras that they released towards the end of 2018. This lens is gonna be 14 to 30 millimeter F4 and it's gonna be the first ultra wide angle zoom lens. So that sounds really good. Also, Nikon have mentioned that they're working on eye autofocus for an upgrade to those cameras. And this is something that we've previously only seen on the Sony cameras. So that's good news for Nikon also. DJI are releasing something they call the smart controller for their drones. It has a 2.5 hour battery and it has a 5.5 inch screen built in. It's said to have double the amount of brightness that a smartphone can offer and it can also work in temperatures as low as minus 20. Now, this sounds like it's gonna be quite pricey, almost the price of their entry-level drone. So if you do have a big phone, like myself, I've just purchased the Note 9, that actually has a 6.4 inch display screen. So um, in many ways, I might be better off still using my phone. However, if you have the smart controller, you alleviate all of the time setting up and uh, syncing the phone with your controller. So if you are wanting optimal time to quickly run and gun with your drone, then this smart controller may be for you. They're also looking at bundling it with some of their drones as well to keep the costs a little bit more friendly. Moving on, if sky drones aren't your thing, then there's talk of underwater drones and there's one being released by Gladius. It's called the Gladius Mini, and it's gonna start around 1,300 pounds. It offers 4K and also does 12 megapixel photos. Now, this drone works with your smartphone. However, because it's going through water, it's gonna to need to be connected. So it comes with a 50 meter tether. I believe that's 165 feet in length. However, you can also buy it custom lengths or longer lengths should you need. Let's talk about televisions and 8K is also on the headlines here. Samsung have their QLED 8K television being displayed and Sony also have their Sony Master Z9G, uh, which is also 98 inch 8K television. Um, however, you can also get an 85 inch there with that one. Now, LG have gone in a different direction and they are releasing or showcasing their first roll-up TV. And this comes in a nice little box, like a roll of wallpaper, and it just stems up. And that includes a 100 watt Dolby Atmos speaker as well. So this TV uh, is a 65 inch. And um, actually it's a really good technology. Um, it means that you can just have the TV stand rather than TV. 
um, which might look a little bit odd in your living room at first, but it does mean you're gonna avoid those fingerprints from the kids touching the screen. Now, a lot of people are saying, is 8K worth it? There's nothing out there yet content-wise. However, I would be saying that, you know what, we've seen Netflix already offer up quite a few programs with 4K. Um, YouTubers will start using 8K as well, if it's possible, especially if we see Sharp releasing that camera. And let's not forget, you can also view your photos in optimal resolution if you have an 8K TV. So there are definitely reasons to get one when it comes out. In other television news, we saw Apple for the first time offering up their AirPlay to a handful of manufacturers. There was Samsung, Sony, LG and Vizio that are all gonna be able to use AirPlay. And not only that, there's gonna be exclusive with Samsung TV being able to access iTunes from the television directly. Let's talk about personal computers, PCs and laptops. And NVIDIA are releasing their new RT20 graphics chip for laptops. They're also releasing the new 2060 for desktops. The 2060 is gonna be their mid-range graphics chip. Dell are releasing an updated version of their XPS 13 and the main point here is they're moving the webcam from the bottom to the top. This has always been a pain in their previous released versions and so it will be a blessing to see that happening. The XPS is an awesome laptop I must say myself. AMD are planning to release their new 7 nanometer GPU. It's a Radon 7, and alongside that, they're going to be releasing the third generation Octo Core CPU. That's planned to be coming out in February for the GPU, no date yet for the CPU. And moving on to Intel, they're releasing their ninth generation Ice Lake series. This is going to be six new chips. Uh, including i3, i5 and i7. The Ice Lake series is based on 10 nanometer architecture and it comes with 11th generation GPU which includes support for USB-C, adaptive sync and Wi-Fi 6. Well I hope you found this bite-sized video helpful. Have a good evening. Peace. <music>